Now, as I have come to play so much more acoustic guitar in recent years with um, a couple of solo albums that I've released that is very acoustic based, this is something I love to use. This is called a capo. A lot of you already know what that's all about. But the capo is really helpful, again, just like I was talking about with the bar chords, where you're using your first finger to bar, to fret all of the strings, and then you make the chord shapes around that bar. Well, you can just use your capo, and that fills the same place that that first finger was in, in the other thing. But now, you can play everything in almost like first position again. Remember the chords I showed you down here? Use your capo, and now you can play the same shape. So in my head, you know, then here's a G chord, and here's a D chord, here's a C chord. Now, of course, it depends on what key you're in. For example, I'm fretting here on the fifth fret, and, you know, if you're using the sixth string fifth fret, that's an A note, so that would make this an A chord. And that would make this a D chord in actual musical terms. But it makes it so nice to do a lot of, you know, flat picking and, and things like that. And 